Lafayette's News Channel 18. Weather from where you live. Well, on live Doppler 18, the area is only live local Doppler radar. You can already see some scattered thunderstorms forming southwest of Lafayette and the WLFI viewing area. This is that squall line that is in the process of trying to form to our west ahead of our cold front, which is about right here. So these are moving off kind of to the east northeast and may affect areas south of Lafayette here in the next one to two hours. But if we look to our Doppler 18 network, this is a, a look at weather service radars we can tap into. So we actually have five radars. We can tap into weather service radar and our own live local Doppler radar. And as you can see, there's that storm south of Champaign that is moving off to the northeast towards our southern counties, Fountain, Warren, Southern Tippecanoe, and Montgomery counties, is rotating a little bit as well. And then there are some bigger storms near St. Louis. These are kind of moving off to the northeast and they kind of clip Clinton County and also Boone County a little later on. But this is still developing, so again, over the next few hours, we may see this fill in a little more. And I'm going to broaden out a little bit, give you a different perspective with the radar data and the watches and warnings. Pink boxes, severe thunderstorm watches. Orange areas are severe thunderstorm warnings. And this is a tornado watch over Michigan. You can see how the squall line really hasn't solidified. There's a little segment here, one here, and one here. I think through the evening hours, it's probably not going to be a solid squall line. So not everybody's going to get severe weather. Not everybody's going to get nailed with storms. But any one of these little segments could produce some severe weather in our area with mainly, mainly a damaging wind threat. And the threat's going to be from now until about 11 p.m. And then after 11 o'clock, this will be out of here. And finally, the cold front will move through with refreshing air for tomorrow. But there's 11 o'clock tonight with Live Doppler 18 Futurecast. Again, this green is representing the leftovers of that squall line moving off to the southeast. There's the cold front moving through. It will race through overnight while the partly cloudy, nice day tomorrow, less humid with highs in the upper 70s. But clouds begin to thicken up again tomorrow night as our cold front comes back north as a warm front. And I think we'll see a cluster of rain and storms form just north of the warm front. This will move in by Wednesday morning. Showers and storms likely on Wednesday. And from Lafayette points west and south, there's an area of very high wind shear along this warm front. And if we can get it unstable enough on Wednesday, there could be an isolated tornado threat that evolves along the warm front. We're going to keep an eye on that. That does bear watching. And then more severe weather possible on Thursday. The storm's ending. Threat will end by 11 p.m., turning cooler down to 60. 77 tomorrow. Pretty nice day after some storms tonight. Very pleasant with lower humidity. But... Showers and storms arrive Wednesday into Thursday. Severe weather is possible. Again, best chance west and south of Lafayette. And then dry weather, but getting hot. In fact, by Monday, we're near 90 with very high humidity. And then by that next Tuesday, a week from now, it looks like uh, the potential's there for a little more severe weather. So it seems like every three to four days, we get either a severe weather event or a lot of heavy rain. And this